Brian knew now with a timeline of what took place on July 7th of 2016. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. The night started with a protest. Shortly after 7 p.m., demonstrators marched down Main Street after a week where two black men were killed by police officers in Minnesota and Louisiana. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! 800 demonstrators flanked by 100 police officers. Passions ran high that night. But the march remained peaceful, and by 8.57, many of the demonstrators were headed back to their cars. Then came 8.58. I was screaming, run, run, run. An active shooter, active shooter. And the shots were just going off like this. So you could tell it was like some kind of semi-automatic weapon. Sir, sir, you need to move. Yeah. Let's go now. <laughs> this just came out of nowhere. As a matter of fact, we were towards the end of the protest right. when the shots started firing off. I'm still kind of startled and shaking up. Moments earlier, Micah Johnson parked his black Tahoe on Lamar Street. With his hazards lights flashing, Johnson stepped down, putting on a body armor vest. He was armed with his semi-automatic assault rifle along with a handgun. Johnson then moved south on Lamar towards Main Street, where officers had gathered to block traffic for the protesters. Johnson then opened fire. Somebody, somebody's really armed to the T. The sound reverberated off the buildings. At first, no one knew where the shots were coming from. Three Dallas police officers, Jorge Barrientos, Gretchen Rocha, and Senior Corporal Ivan Saldana, along with two civilians, Billy Ray Williams and Shatamia Taylor, were injured. Officer Michael Kroll, Senior Corporal Lauren Ahrens, and Officer Patrick Zamaripa were killed. Shots fired, officer down, it's an assist officer. At 9.01, officers radioed for backup. We have got to get DFD down here now. We have one six right now, one six now, get him here. They're on the way. Racing to help, officers carried those injured, loaded them in the back of squad cars before rushing them off to the hospital. DFR, sit up somewhere. Am I taking this guy to the hospital? He's low six. Then go. We're notifying Baylor and Parkland. Meanwhile, Johnson headed north on Lamar, firing towards DART officers who were coming from the West End Station to the scene. DART officer Misty McBride was shot while running to take cover behind a car. Officer Lee Cannon was also hit. And so was Dallas Police Sergeant Giovanni Wells, who requested his picture not to be publicized. At this point, Johnson tried to enter El Central College, shooting out the glass doors on Lamar Street. El Central officers Brian Shaw and John Abbott were wounded in the exchange of gunfire, but they forced Johnson to move on. He then headed down Lamar, hiding behind the concrete barriers before sneaking up on DART officer Brent Thompson. As captured on this video from a nearby rooftop, Johnson can be seen firing to the left of the pillar, then going around to the right. The rest of the video is too graphic to show. Johnson shot Thompson in the back and then standing over him, shot him again and again. Johnson then turned the corner and went down Elm Street. This time, he was able to enter El Central College. Johnson went upstairs to the second floor through the library and down a hall. From a window looking down on Elm Street, he once again opened fire. <laughs> Dart officer Jesus Ritana was shot in the arm. Dallas Police Sergeant Michael Smith, who was by the 7-Eleven, was shot and killed. By 9.15, Johnson made his way halfway down a long hall where he was quartered by officers. 30 feet separated SWAT officers from Johnson. For the next several hours, officers tried negotiating with the gunman. The suspect said he was upset at white people. The suspect stated he wanted to kill white people, especially white officers. Negotiations eventually broke down. Shots were fired. More than 200 shots were exchanged. And then at 1.28 a.m. on July 8th, Police Chief David Brown made an historic decision, something no police department had ever done before. Chief Brown ordered a bomb robot with C4 to be sent down the hallway. And when it was just feet from Johnson, the C4 detonated. 
four and a half hours after the first shots were fired, Johnson was dead. We're hurting. Our profession is hurting. Dallas officers are hurting. We are heartbroken. There are no words to describe the atrocity that occurred to our city. It wasn't for another several hours before investigators ruled Johnson was the lone gunman. Several streets in downtown were closed for as many as 11 days after that shooting, and investigators collected evidence from the crime scene.